Have you ever wondered what the world, now filled with modern buildings, vehicles, and people, was like years ago? The roads we walk on, the seas we swim in, who knows what people they hosted, what events they witnessed? Well, thanks to archaeologists, we can largely learn the answers to these questions. But what about the discoveries that remain shrouded in mystery? It seems like there's no other option but to keep digging. Today we'll explore the most mysterious discoveries that have astonished archaeologists. From a death mask full of secrets to an ancient Egyptian cult, we've compiled the most intriguing discoveries for you. Enjoy watching. Ancient Mask in 2019, a rare piece of a pre-Columbian American death mask washed ashore in Florida. It was estimated that the original mask belonged to a $4 billion sunken treasure off the coast of Melbourne Beach. According to researchers, the treasure sank in 1715, along with a Spanish ship sailing from Cuba to Spain during a hurricane. The artifact, belonging to the Inca civilization, was an ancient death mask, approximately 10,000 to 12,000 years old. The object, made by a pre-Columbian culture, was one of the earliest examples of metal construction. The mask was likely given as a gift to royalty, but was stolen by Spanish grave robbers in the 1700s. Many praised the metalwork on the mask, but what made it special were the materials used to create the item. Traces of iridium were found alongside trace amounts of gold and silver in the death mask, whose main component was copper. The thing is, Pure iridium is one of the rarest elements found in the Earth's crust, only at 0.001 parts per million, abundant in meteorites. The element was considered a foreign metal, even in pre-Columbian times. The discovery of the artifact showed that pre-Columbian societies knew how to extract precious metals, and also that meteorites contained valuable materials. Yet, the questions didn't end there. You see, although the Incas were extremely advanced in metalworking, the furnaces they used could only reach temperatures of 1300 degrees. On the other hand, melting iridium requires a heat of almost 2500 degrees. Let's say they managed to reach this heat. Looking at the symbols and engravings on the mask, it could be definitively said that the artifact belonged to the Inca civilization, but modern history tells us that the Inca Empire is one of the youngest civilizations. So, how could the mask be 10, 12,000 years old? Many people believe that today's historians are deliberately hiding the truth about the Incas, or that they know very little about their authentic culture. While other pieces of the metallurgical wonder mask are still missing, search efforts for the wreck continue. Spooky Ancient Greek Game most of the toys and devices we have today make sense to us, but centuries from now, what do you think researchers who have no idea about our generation would think if they found a fidget spinner or a toy gun? They'd probably be a little confused. Even modern archaeologists are sometimes surprised when they discover something bizarre from thousands of years ago. One of these was a few sheep knuckle bones they discovered in Israel. Although they initially couldn't come to a clear conclusion about their purpose, it later emerged that the bones were part of a mysterious ancient divination game dating back 2300 years. The name of the game was Astragaloi, or literally ankle bones. This game was played not only by the Greeks, but also by the Romans in antiquity. Essentially played like a game of dice, it could also be played for divination. Inscriptions of Aphrodite, Hera, Nike, Eros, and many other Greek gods and goddesses were found on some pieces. There were also other strange inscriptions containing the words robber, stop, and you're burned. It is believed that the Romans and Greeks used these knuckles not only for entertainment, but also to satisfy their curiosity about life and death. Tutankhamun's Mysterious Death In 1332 BC, Tutankhamun, who became the pharaoh of Egypt at just nine years old, managed to rule the country during land wars between neighboring kingdoms and Egypt. The young leader died at the age of 19, about 10 years after coming to power. However, historians didn't know much about him until 1922. It was around this time that a British archeologist named Howard Carter unearthed Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings. Finding a burial chamber beneath the Egyptian desert, Carter spent the next two years searching the tomb, but the real treasure was in another room. 
He finally reached the chamber and opened the coffin. Another coffin emerged from inside the coffin. Inside the second coffin was a third coffin made of gold. Ultimately, the mummified body of Tutankhamun, who had been in a deep sleep for over 3,000 years, was found. Shortly after the mummy was unearthed, archaeologists attempted to separate the pharaoh from the sticky, sacred oils that coated the inside of his coffin. However, such a harsh intervention damaged the mummy and made it difficult to say what led to Tutankhamun's death. Some suspected he was murdered, perhaps poisoned. However, thanks to modern technologies like 3D scanning, it was understood that the famous king was actually in poor health and even had a broken leg. Although it was estimated that the king fell from one of the chariots found in his tomb, no definitive conclusion could be reached. Tutankhamun, whose immune system was already weakened, could have died from an infection in the broken bone if the accident itself hadn't killed him. Archaeologists are not very keen to say that the mystery has been solved. Without records detailing exactly what happened at that time, we may never learn the secret behind Tutankhamun's mysterious death. Still, no matter how he died, it seems certain that he will continue to be the most famous mummy in the world, thanks to the treasures in his tomb. La Brea Woman In 1914, a woman's skeleton was found in the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. Based on the partial skeletal remains, it was understood that she died about 10,000 years ago, between the ages of 25 and 30. This made her one of the oldest known residents of Los Angeles. The interesting thing was that hers was the only skeleton found in the area. Things got even more complicated when it was considered that the Chumash and Tongva tribes, as well as their ancestors, had lived in this region for thousands of years. Archaeologists repeatedly excavated the pit where the La Brea woman was found, hoping to find other human remains, but found nothing. On the other hand, the dog remains found next to the woman initially suggested that the two were connected. However, modern analysis revealed that the dog was buried 3,000 years ago, refuting the initial claim. The remains of the La Brea woman have been extensively studied since her discovery, and it has been observed that she was about 1.4 meters tall and mostly fed on ground foods. Many people, based on the crack in her skull, argued that the woman died as a result of a blow to the head. Although there were a few more theories about what happened to her, researchers could not fully determine the cause of death. Ark of the Covenant The Ark of the Covenant is one of the most important sacred relics in the world. Also known as the Ark of the Testimony, the artifact is a gold-plated wooden chest with an intricate lid. The Ark of the Covenant is thought to have been built by the Israelites about 3,000 years ago. Legend has it that inside are stone tablets containing the Ten Commandments, said to be written with the finger of God. The Ark is mentioned in many Bible stories. It is mentioned that it helped the Israelites overcome all the difficulties on their journey out of Egypt. It is also claimed that the river stopped flowing as soon as the people carrying it set foot in the water. This sacred relic, which has amazed both archaeologists and theologians for centuries, has become one of the most enduring mysteries in history. For a long time, many people tried to find the Ark, but all efforts so far have been inconclusive. The Ark of the Covenant was last placed in the Temple of Jerusalem before it disappeared. It is currently unknown where it is, or even if it still exists. Of course, like all mysterious finds, many theories have been put forward about this artifact. Some claim that the Ark is in St. Mary of Zion Cathedral in Aksum, Ethiopia, but no one has been able to confirm this, as only one person is allowed to see the artifact. Since the cathedral does not allow anyone other than its guardian to see the Ark, even to verify its authenticity, no one has been able to confirm this. Some experts have suggested that the artifact was hidden in the passages beneath Solomon's temple in Jerusalem until it was destroyed in 586 BC. The presence of another religious structure in the area today has made excavation impossible. Religious finds have always been interesting. Unfortunately, with so little information available for archaeologists to use, understanding their authenticity is at least as difficult as finding them. Mysterious Mummy Found in Atacama Desert 
This strange skeleton, known as the Atacama Mummy, was discovered in 2003. The skeleton continues to be a subject of debate, even though nearly 20 years have passed since its discovery. It was claimed that the remains found in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile were actually buried in the town of La Noria. Everyone who looked at the skeleton thought it couldn't belong to a human. At first glance, it was thought to belong to a baby, but it had a few strange features. First, the skeleton was incredibly small, only 15 centimeters long. Although it resembled a baby in size, its bone structure was similar to that of a six-year-old child. It also only had 10 pairs of ribs, whereas it should have had 12. The strangest feature of the skeleton was its cone-shaped skull. All of this combined led many to associate the tiny skeleton with extraterrestrial beings. For many years, UFO enthusiasts around the world have said that the Atacama Desert Mummy is definitive proof that aliens have visited our planet. Some conspiracy theorists have suggested that the mummy may belong to a small primate. Ultimately, both of these theories were refuted. Recently, scientists have relatively solved the mystery of this strange mummy. Researchers examined the mummy, which they named Atta, and concluded that the small skeleton belonged to a girl. However, no one knows exactly why Atta is as small as a fetus or why her skull is cone-shaped. Things have reached an impasse for both conspiracy theorists and scientists at this point. While it would be easy to say that Atta suffered from a genetic disorder that caused her strange appearance, there was no way to determine the exact genetic defects she had. No information could be obtained about her parents or ancestors. All we know is that Ada was carefully buried and well cared for during her lifetime. Sphinx found in California. One of the most recognizable figures of ancient Egypt is the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a mythological creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. Sphinxes were usually built next to important tombs and temples to serve as guardians. Sphinx statues have become some of the most famous structures in the world along with the Great Sphinx of Giza. The famous Sphinx of Giza was carved by hundreds of workers around 2500 BC. Built to face the sunrise, the statue looked incredibly magnificent about 4,500 years ago. That's why archeologists excavating the sand dunes in Santa Barbara, California, were astonished to discover a 136 kilograms Sphinx head. The distance of over 11,000 kilometers between Egypt and the USA made the discovery even more incredible. Of course, the mystery behind the artifact was soon solved. Researchers had discovered an original relic, yes, but it didn't belong to the ancient Egyptians. The Sphinx was part of the 1923 blockbuster film, The Ten Commandments. It was one of the most magnificent works in cinema history for its capturing of the essence of the story. The film was shot on a massive set approximately 12 stories high and 243 meters wide. The finishing touches were completed with many Egyptian artifacts, including sphinxes made of plaster. Approximately 1,300 craftsmen worked to complete the set, which used 12 tons of nails and 250 tons of plaster. They did such a good job that even modern archeologists couldn't understand what was going on at first glance. Mysterious Cult Recently, headless falcon statues were discovered along with a mysterious inscription in an ancient Egyptian temple. The discovery has continued to baffle archaeologists and Egyptologists since day one. It was claimed that the artifacts belonged to a previously unknown cult in the eastern Egyptian desert. In addition to the headless falcon statues, archaeologists also discovered mummified remains of real headless falcons in the area dubbed the Temple of the Falcon. They also found an inscription that read, It is prohibited to boil heads here. Researchers are still not sure what this means exactly. We still have so much to discover about our past, and no doubt we will have many more mysterious archaeological finds to unravel in the future. What did you think of these mysteries? Which discovery was the most perplexing? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.